Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Taylor and this is part one of my online web series about learning Excel. Today's lesson we will learn some very basic operations of Excel and how you can use them to accomplish many engineering tasks. When you first open up Excel it should look something like this. Um, you will have a few menus at the top. This is called the ribbon which allows you to accomplish many things that you want to do. This is the office button and you can open up a new file or save or do any of those regular tasks like that. So just to start from scratch let's go ahead and go up to the office button and let's uh, begin a new file. We'll just choose a blank workbook like this and create it. Shouldn't look any different because this is the default when you open up the program. Now the first thing we're going to look at is this part of the ribbon, the home tab. You can accomplish many basic things that you would see in a word processor here. You can center your text, you can change the font, bold it, change um, any kind of typeface that you want, and make your workbook look whatever your heart desires. In this section, this is the insert tab, this is where you can put all kinds of things like pictures, or plots. We have pie charts here. We can also insert things like text and hyperlinks um, to just put inside of our workbook. If we go up to the home button, here's where we can accomplish many things like saving our workbook. We can print from here or make a new one <coughs> like, we've, like we've just done. Now you'll also notice that there's scroll bars on the sides here on the top and the bottom. This, is, this allows you to navigate around your workbook. Finally, we have these tabs here on the bottom. You can keep multiple Excel sheets open at once. So let's say you're, you're working on something that has multiple parts to it. You don't have to fit all of it on the same sheet. You can break it into these multiple tabs and organize your thoughts that way. And this becomes very important when, when problems become much more complex, it's easier to break them up into sections to, uh, to organize those things in your head. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to rename one of these worksheets, these tabs here. And we can do that one of two ways. The easiest way is just to double click it and we can type something like, like sheet demo and just go ahead and hit enter and we have a rename sheet. Another thing we could do is we could right click on it and go to rename and do the same thing. So I'm just going to type sheet demo 2 and that will accomplish the exact same thing. Another thing we can do is we can click on one of these, right click one and go to insert and, it will, and we can choose if we want to insert a chart or just another worksheet. We're going to choose another worksheet. Hit OK. And you'll see it inserts one right before the sheet that I clicked. So we can have as many sheets as we want here um, to break our problem into smaller and smaller solutions. But we don't need that, so we can go ahead and right-click that and delete it. So one thing you always want to do whenever you're working in Excel is to save frequently. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and save here, go up to the office button and let's just save as. And we'll bring up this window and we're just going to name it Demo Book. And go ahead and hit save. And of course you can always press Control S in the middle to save any time that you want. Um, and that should be something that you do frequently as you work on these assignments so you don't get caught losing a bunch of work that you spent hours and hours working on.